about adding elements to our list. Now, we already have been using some list methods. Remember, methods use the dot notation, and the two that we've been using so far are append and sort. So if I want to use these, I have my list first, dot, my method, and I have to have parentheses. There are two ways to add elements to your list. The first way is append. It does require an argument because you have to tell it what you're going to append. And it always adds the new element to the end of the list. And here's an example. Now we've done append many times already. So it's not really new. This is more kind of a review. Let's go ahead and add a function to our program that will add elements to the list by using append. Now a second way is using insert. Insert is a little bit different from append because append you only have one argument and it always puts it at the end of the list. For insert it lets you put it anywhere you want in the list. It's going to require two arguments. The first one is the index or where you want to insert it and the second argument is what you want to insert. Let's take a closer look at the insert method. So first of all it's a method so you're going to use dot notation and you have to give it the first argument is the index. So think about what are the valid index values for your list. Of course the first index is zero and it's going to go up to the length of the list. You might think, well wait a minute, the length of the list is one more than the index and that's true. So if you put in an index, so if your list has ten values, the current index values are zero to nine. So of course any of those are valid. But I'm also inserting it, and when I insert it, I do increase the length. So if I use the index 10 on my current list that has 10 values, so it's 0 to 9. So if I put in an index value of 10 or anything higher, it will append it to the end, just like append. So you don't have to really worry about getting an error for an out-of-range index. But in other languages, you would, so you really should try and be careful, even though Python lets you get away with it. Yeah, try and be a little bit careful with the values that you use for insert, that you do try and keep it within the range of zero to the length of the list. Now what happens with the values that are already there is they get moved up, their index value increases by one, and here's kind of a picture of it's happening. So here, here's this is my original list, and I'm going to insert something at position one, which is the second element. Everything else moves down, so Emily was at index one, and now you can see it's at two, and so on and so forth. So everything just kind of moves on over when you're inserting. Here's some examples of code that uses the insert method. So if I had a list called bowling scores dot insert and I'm going to insert it at position 5 so it's going to be the sixth element and here's the value that I'm going to insert there. If I want to put it at the very beginning, maybe I have a list called numbers list dot insert. The zero is the very first position, and I'm going to insert the value three. And this is just kind of in general. I can use variables. I can have a variable for the index, and I can have a variable for the value. So let's try this. We're actually going to do this with some variables. We're going to pick a random index and a random value and insert it into our list. <laughs> 